with Lawrence and the Slap Boys. You made your album in Berlin. Why did you decide to record it there? Um, well, it wasn't really a deliberate decision. I was already, I was already living there with my last band, and then um, all of a sudden that band broke up, and I had a lease or an apartment in Berlin. So yeah, I just thought I'd make a record while I was there. Uh, and then you moved to Manchester. Uh, yeah. Um, Matt, who's our bass player, he got in contact and said that he, he liked the songs he'd heard. I mean, I was thinking about moving to England at this point anyway. Berlin was getting a bit much, really. Um, so he said he was putting together a band with uh, Lee and Josh. Um, and these guys like the same sort of bands that I did. It just seemed like fate, really. So after I moved over, I um, had a few sessions and uh, the boys helped me finish off the album. Would you agree that this album sounds less commercial than other music you've made in the past? Um, perhaps it does, yeah. Um, I'm not sure on that one. I think it'd be very hard to make great art if you're thinking only if it's commercial worth to do it. Um, and I think that anyone will look at it, this is the best music I've done. I read somewhere that you want to release the record without a large record label. Uh, why is this? There was just no point in doing it with a conventional label. Um, I mean, I made the record myself without their help, so it just didn't seem like they had anything to offer. And I suppose I just didn't want to lose control of it. Do you worry that you may miss the opportunity to expose your music to a larger audience this way? No, I don't worry about it. I mean, I'd rather have a thousand switched on people liking my music than a hundred thousand morons. You seem very opposed to the music industry. What is your impression of it? Um, I'm not opposed to it. It's just, it's just got nothing to do with me. I mean, it can do what it likes. I mean, my impression of it is pimps and pornographers and vampires and shamans. I mean, there's some good people there, but they're like emeralds and snakes, to be honest. Even though it's quite a pop-up name in Scotland. Yeah, I suppose if you look at it that way, yeah.